thank you so much, Rona. Just summarising, uh, firstly, can I thank you all? Um, that, that has been an extremely illuminating debate for formidable women um, who know more about this subject than uh, probably everybody watching this uh, particular episode. But in terms of uh, what I've just picked up from, from, from your recommendations, we, we evidently know there's some good stuff happening out there. Uh, and uh, taking Donna's point, don't wait, don't wait to be told by the Home Office or by the National Police Chief Council, you know, if it's working, get it in and get it happening now so you can start delivering uh, a better service. Yeah, we know that the, um, uh, I think there's a pretty solid uh, support for uh, some kind of independent complaints body, uh, which will um, properly, properly support it so that people can make a complaint. We know that that requires safe and effective whistleblowing. Um, that has to be in place. We know that the earlier the intervention takes place, uh, in terms of dealing with people who are uh, potentially on the, on the journey for uh, journey towards discipline, uh, the more likely it is you prevent, prevent them from going down that route. Um, we know that um, the Victims Bill will help um, when it's enacted. Uh, as Donna said, the legal aid needs to be um, in place to enable people to get the uh, support that they properly need. Um, to take the point that Hanana made, and I think others have endorsed, one of the first things that goes in times of austerity is community engagement. The second thing that goes is training, uh, and both of those are absolutely essential uh, for a, the policing service to understand the, the concerns uh, that their communities have. We've touched already on the need for a proper disciplinary uh, accountability and also a word that I think all of us have used is transparency. Uh, if you try and hide some things that will not in any way, shape or form uh, improve integrity and the public's perception and the public's confidence in policing. And we've heard from uh, Betsy about the NFA panels. Uh, we introduced them a decade or so ago. And we know they work. Um, uh, linked to that, uh, we need to think, and policing needs to think about who, the, who represents the community, which is what Hanana's point was. You know, very often I've wasted enormous amounts of time sitting with somebody purporting to be a community leader who leads no community. Uh, and you've got to make sure that the people who are engaged with on these panels and the police engagements generally are reflective of the people that they serve. So on that point, uh, can I thank uh, Hanana Siddiqui, uh, Betsy Stanko, Rona Malone and Donna Jones, and thank you for listening and hope that you will carry on listening to the Policing TV um, programs.